How's it going, everybody? Sean, John, Ron in the house. Today, we have a mod called Veronica Outfit Replacer. It is made by Hunter Main, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, their take on Veronica's outfit, which is going to make Veronica look super, super cool, slash sexy, slash uh, more immersive, slash... Uh, wearing more stuff as we could see we're going to be taking a look at that today oh snap so then uh this looks like it is hunter main's very first uh mod released on the nexus here so make sure to show them some love give them some kudos and let them know about any uh helpful hints or whatever they may need um personally i've been on a kick about uh replacers and stuff for various characters lately and i've been wanting to cover more of these so um simply because this is the newest one i was able to find on the nexus i thought this would be a great opportunity to start uh covering more of these replacers and uh we'll start with veronica's outfit replacer right here because it looks uh, very cool to me so let's go check it out everyone oh snap now from um looking at uh all the writing over here if uh you could barely read like me um apparently they followed a guide by uh joe Green. i know joe Green used to make a whole bunch of cool stuff so they followed joe Green's guide on how to do that stuff so if you are wanting to make your own um stuff uh follow this guide that uh they've put here very nice and as far as the um the stats of the armor are concerned. It has a total weight of 5 now. Uh, it has a DT of 10. And you can, it gives you 20 plus carry weight and plus 5 unarmed. Which makes sense for Veronica since she does love to punch things. So whatever makes her most optimal to punch things I think uh, probably works out for her. And it also looks like here it's like a combination of... Maybe like a vault suit. We got some blue converse here. Oh snap. Then we got like a glove here. And then we have the usual Veronica's robes here, obviously. And then the vault suit, you know, sleeves and some ropes. And, you know, because it makes her look more like someone that's trying to find supplies. Because that's the explanation she gives, I think, for when you first recruit her. Like, she's just scavenging for stuff. and Like a scavenger, you know? She's a scavenger, and not just, like, somebody with a, a hobo robe. Now, it's, you know, it's a lot more accoutrements that make her look like a, in my opinion, a scavenger. Which is why I really like this mod. I'm really interested in it, so. Um, let's take a look at it in-game, everybody. And as always, make sure to remember to endorse the mod once you are done downloading it. Um, it helps support the mod authors and shows them that you love their work. And you want them to continue to not only update their mods, but to uh, possibly make new mods. So that's always good. Remember, just hit that endorse button on the Nexus page after you're downloading it right there. And do as so and click it. And... Uh, you show them that you love the work, so uh, make sure to do that. Oh boy. All right, so we are in um, the 188. You know, we got all my uh, hip hop and companions. We got our boy Georgie. We got our, our boy Josh, our uh, hip hop and alien. Um, I'm sure we all love him. And then yeah. Eddie somewhere around here. Anyway, so now that we got a, a bunch of Kajillion companions, we're going to add in one more. Uh, Veronica, of course. Uh, it's getting a little dark, so I'll turn on the light. Hello. As you can see, this looks like the armor in question that we're uh, going to take a look at. We got the cool shoes, the uh, unique robes there. Um, we got the cool, you know, it's a, I don't have the, uh, the hood on her because I have a mod that takes off her hood in my current playthrough. Of New Vegas by the way this is the playthrough I am playing on for my twitch stream so if you're down for New Vegas twitch streams check out my uh, twitch channel everyone oh boy there's my plug now um let's go check out Veronica um, 
doing stuff Evening. with the armor. Hey. Let's do it. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Everywhere and nowhere. All right, be right back. All right then, so we are in uh, more of the daytime here where we got a good uh, vision of the armor itself. Um, I did dismiss the other companions for this because I don't think we're going to need them. And instead, we'll just take a better look at the armor. Oh, snap. In the middle of the day. Uh, there is a little bit of, you know, skin on that neck there. It's probably covered up by the hood for Veronica's gear. But since I have a mod that takes off the hood, um, it's obviously visible. It would be kind of cool if, you know, if it was covered up a little bit more. But I'm sure with practice, with other mods, pretend, or other future mods... We could get stuff like that neck covered up and... Hey, let's see, what's inside there? Yeah, we could see... Um, you know, there's a... Some... You know, we could see the inside of... Or there. Um, let's see. Other than that, I love the little tin cup on the corner there. God damn it, Veronica, stand still! I need to show off your tin cup. There you go, perfect. And then, I really love the shoes, the Converse. Those are really cool too, I love those. Um, and then the harness thing, I love that too. And, um, yeah, it does look like a vault suit right there. Or like a retextured vault suit that she just picked up somewhere and was like, Oh, I'm gonna wear this with my clothes, why not? And I think that was pretty cool. She's got a little bit of a backpack that signifies her scavenging stuff. Which again, I think is cool and just adds some more flourish onto Veronica that's normally not there in vanilla. But it still kind of keeps true to the vanilla concept. A bit so I still I appreciate that and in fact um, you know that's kind of what I look for in a lot of replacers in general in my games is well it still kind of holds some uh, grounding and kind of the uh, vanilla aspects of the armor it still kind of gives it enough flavor to make it unique and something cool to add to your game which in this case uh, just happens to be this Veronica armor so on that end as far as the looks go I give it a good um, I give it some good props there. I only wish that the neck was covered up a little bit, a little bit more. But other than that, other than the neck thing, it's looking ten out of ten. It is looking. Uh, what's a what's a good rating, Josh? What is a good rating? Uh, Sean, I can't believe you didn't think of this before you started recording the video. Um, not cool, bro. Not cool. All right, Josh, just calm down, buddy. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, we'll be right back. Ah, I got it. Fudgeticle out of 10. See, because fudgeticles are, are delicious and they're convenient and they're, they're, you know, they add enough spice into your life without it being too much of a big deal. Right, Josh? Sean, no one's gonna know what the, what the fuck you mean by that. Yeah, whatever, Josh. You're just jealous. Your jelly, you don't get to have fudge shickles. All right, now uh, can we wear this armor? That's curious. I'm gonna go check that out real quick. Be okay, so what I'm thinking that we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out in some combat situation. Um, since it's only me, Veronica, and Josh, I'm thinking, uh, what's what's around here, you guys? What's around here? I know there's some ants over there. We could check out those ants and see if they want to. Want to hoe down with the showdown and test out Veronica's armor. We could just see this thing in combat, So that would be pretty sweet. Uh, let's hit it. Alright, so it looks like those bounty hunters are still after Josh. Um, we're going to hopefully uh, get the jump on him this time. But instead of just bonsai charging him, I'm going to try to actually try to shoot them with a gun and see what happens. Because you know with aliens, you just gotta shoot them with guns. And we could also, uh, have Veronica tank them for us. That'd be pretty sweet. So, alright. Let's see how this will work. Eh. There we go. Run, Veronica! Use your- use your fist of fury! It's coming after us! He's gotta get the bounty on Josh! There we go. Eh. Punch him. Holy shit! Yep, that did not work out like I thought it did. Yep. All right, that's not good. <laughs> well, um, I guess it's not like combat armor, 
But judge, ah, boy, oh boy. Yeah, it's definitely not combat armor. Well, I gotta say, even though it's not exactly, you know, stuff you'd want to bring into combat with, uh, you know, we'll just avoid those bounty hunters in the future, Josh. They, uh, they won't come find you. Uh, so like I was saying, uh, well, I do love the flourish. It's definitely not combat armor, which is fair. I mean, I don't think she, she's expecting to, like, be, uh, the Terminator in this armor, but, you know, it still looks pretty sick and... In my opinion, hashtag lore friendly. I know people are going to be like, no, Sean, it's not lore friendly. It's not vanilla, therefore not lore friendly. But, you know, I'm sure uh, you'll let me know in the comments and tell me how how much of an idiot I am. I'm, I'm sure that'll happen. Um, so anyway, with that said, uh, we have shown that it wasn't combat armor. But can she groove in the armor? Uh, that is also a valid uh, thing to check at. In regards to armor mods on my channel. We gotta see if she could groove in it. Uh, so we'll check that out real quick. Yeah, I know, Josh. That is an important factor. We're checking it out. One segundo. Alright, so as you can see, she could clearly ride the mammoth. Um, you know, that looks pretty sweet there, as we can see. Um, the mammoth's clearly uh, trying to camouflage itself. Like a chameleon. But as you can see, uh, the armor works very well. And... Uh, when you're riding a mammoth so that's a that's a plus there we'll see if it works doing other things um so she could also make a punching fist um and it also you could also check to see uh honestly in all seriousness when you're looking at the poses like this you can see if there's any uh weird holes like the neck hole we saw and uh, i don't really see any it does look pretty badass still and keeping with the fudgicle at a 10 uh review points in mind so still still fudgical tier very nice i think this is going to be a screenshot everyone be right back and okay so as we can see though clearly she can uh do the dances as the typical uh dancing review goes with the armor it looks pretty sweet to me uh you could you know nothing jiggles too much um which is you know probably good and then, uh, you know, you can all see the stuff clearly as far as the objects on her body, like the, uh, the, the cups and the, uh, weird bags and the hip-hop dancing. See, Josh is digging it, right? Josh is like, yeah, it looks pretty sweet, Sean. I, I think that was, uh, that was good. That was good stuff. Can I, I, why can't I move you with the Groovatron? Whatever. Uh, so anyway, uh, gotta say, um, looking pretty fudge there. Uh, very nice. I cannot dance like that in real life, but in New Vegas, uh, Veronica can, so there you go. Awesome possum, everyone. Alright, you guys, so with that said, I will keep my rating of this mod at Fudgical, because I do love the creativity. It is a super tasty mod, oh boy. Um, I feel like the armor itself is more friendly in, in a way. I know I know you guys are going to be like, Oh no, uh, it's actually not more friendly because XYZ, it's not a vanilla game. Well, you know, I think it fits the lore just fine. Um, it's pretty creative. Um, granted, as we saw, it's not going to exactly be like armor that you would probably pick to, uh, you know, assault a castle or something. But... It's still pretty creative as far as its design goes, in my opinion. Now, um, with that said, uh, with my rating given, I would like to shill out that if you would want to, uh, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more review content in the future, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to the old YouTube channel here by clicking that hot subscribe button. And uh, hitting that bell notification to know when my videos come out, because that'd be really cool. And also, uh, if you like Fallout New Vegas streams, remember to uh, follow my um, Twitch channel there. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for all that good stuff. And you can watch uh, New Vegas streams of my character here, Sean John Ron, going throughout the wasteland in New Vegas, uh, exacting vengeance on people. Oh snap. And then as well, um, 
Remember to always endorse this mod if you liked it as well. Uh, the mod authors appreciate it. Appreciate that kind of stuff, so make sure to do that as well. And with that said, um, thank you for watching, you guys. And hopefully we'll see more armors from uh, this mod maker in the future. But until then, since you've gotten to the end of the video, now it's time to shell out my dumb meme for the, for the video. So here's the dumb meme, everyone. Get fucked.